Welcome back everybody, High Tech Lab here. Just wanna give you guys a quick like, keep out, stay away, uh, warning type deal. I'm working on installing some solar panels on the roof of our lab. And these panels we got as used panels. We paid 75 bucks a piece and it seemed like a fantastic deal. Uh, this is our second batch of these we've ordered and the first batch had no issues whatsoever. But in time, as I've grown in this industry, I've learned a lot about these panels. And these panels were not name brand panels. There was actually no mention of a name whatsoever. So come take a look at this. Now, this panel looks a little dirty. This was the bottom of the pallet. It was glass side down. I want to show you guys something here. They have these stickers that say warranty void if removed. And I kind of have the hunch that something weird's going on here, right? So I'm gonna pull this off and bear with me just a second. Now they get, gave these really good stickers and that's why I'm struggling a little. But underneath this, look at what we found. These are Trina solar panels and they've actually lasered through the brand it looks like and the serial number to try and destroy what it, these panels actually are. Now, come with me because these panels look good on the front and on the underside, they look just fine, right? Nothing to see here. Well, let's go over here because we unloaded these and quality inspected them as we were unloading them. And we have two that stand out, so let's check them out. And look at these. It looks like these wires have been cut, and for good reason. Um, they've put connectors on here and some extension wires. But look at this back sheet. I don't know if you can get a good angle on the camera, but you can see it's kind of looking like it's peeling and uh, that kind of thing. And this is the, the, a big issue Trina Solar ran into. They recalled thousands and thousands of panels because they had failing back sheets. We're talking full solar field installs that they recalled because these back sheets were failing and allowing moisture into the panels. And if we take a look, I'm gonna flip this here over. You can see same thing with the label over here, but let me get this better into the, uh, the sunlight over here. And we're gonna look at both of these panels because this is actually a huge issue where people are starting to get ripped off. So come look at this panel. You can see through the front that the back sheet is starting to have little cracks in it and all sorts of stuff going on. And uh, that could really cause an issue. It could cause these panels to have a short circuit, which can lead to a fire. There's some marking right here. Actually, uh, my bad, that was actually just on the surface of the glass. But uh, you know, used panels are cool and all, but then when you realize we have two panels at 75 bucks a piece, so call it 150 bucks, and, uh, and they're no good. I mean, look up here at these uh, traces. You can see, I, I didn't notice this earlier, but there's some green marks over here where things are totally rotted out. I mean, look at that. It's just absolutely uh, no good. I, I can't use these panels in my install because that right there, where that connection is failing, could easily lead to a fire and, uh, and that kind of thing. So I'm a little nervous using all these panels uh, on my install, but I don't know if you've seen the video yet where uh, we put Unistrut on this container and that's because I'm planning in the future if I have to replace all these panels, I wanna be able to adjust my racking without having to put new holes in the roof. But uh, yeah, buyer beware, stay away from used solar panels, especially if the seller doesn't give you a full um, explanation as to what's going on. Had I known about this Trina solar issue and uh, that they had this recall, uh, I would have probably never bought these panels because they're not all that much cheaper than new panels of similar size. So uh, yeah, I'm still gonna use them and see what happens just because I'm doing uh, science and experimentation, but uh, I can't recommend that for any of my viewers. So uh, like I've said a million times now, buyer beware, uh, stay away from these used panels if you can help it, unless you can get full, clear, and concise details from the seller. Hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video. We'll see you in the next one and stay safe out there.